just picked up this 100 series and I've already done the snorkel on the other side. Now I've seen how bad the mud and shit build up was in there, so I'm going to do the passenger side. And even, even that, look at that, you want to clear that shit out, that's rust causing. So I'm going to pull this all out and uh, give you a look at how bad this can be. These things here can rust out. Not good. Alright, so I got this down far enough now to where I can access everything. Bit of dry shit there, but the worst of it, as I probably would have guessed anyway, is down here. Look how fucking caked that is. That's like mud, that's wet. That's soil. And that's just years, years and years of just shit building up and being left unattended. And I'm really surprised that hasn't caused rust already. Oh man. You want to get that shit out of your car. I'm going to get a hose out and I'm going to blast the fuck out of that. It's all the way back there. Yeah. So that's worth clearing out, I reckon. It's worth the effort of taking this apart. Time for a birthday, old girl. Don't have to do anything fancy. Close that shit out. Long time since this has been done. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's never been done. Blah. See that's heaps better. Just a good hose out, get rid of all that mud and build up. Just nice and clear, you know. This isn't going to be, uh, this is a 100 series turbo diesel Land Cruiser, so it's off-road. Um, you're not going to need to do this with every car, I wouldn't imagine. Like if you had a Nissan Patrol or something, I wouldn't bother. You wouldn't need to worry about the, uh, the fact that off-road vehicles need maintenance. <sighs> anyway, done.